All right, so that's the beginning of the Duel of Fates, a great score from what the uh, original, I guess not original, episode one, The Phantom Menace, awesome stuff. That music cranks, Darth Maul's there, double headed lightsaber, oh man, it's crazy stuff. Double lightsaber kicking, so. Anyways, we're here to talk today about um, Couple videos I'll do on angles of rotation. In geometry, we dealt with a ton of angles. All those angles, of course, all right, were 180 degrees or less, between 0 and 180. Okay. Now we're gonna start to deal with angles of rotation that spin more than 180. They can spin in a negative direction, and all that is based on is positioning on the coordinate plane. So we're going to start off with, and you can see this coordinate plane, I have one side of an angle drawn highlighted in red. You're going to notice that the segment, the end point of that ray is at the origin, and the ray extends along the positive x-axis. That's called the initial side of an angle within the coordinate plane. Now, I kind of think of a clock hand. You know, if we have a clock hand in a second hand, or I should say a minute hand in a second hand, both overlapping at say, what do we got? 15 after, a quarter after the hour, you can only see one of them. But then the second hand continues to tick, right? And then you can see two of them, and as it ticks around that circular clock, it makes a different angle really every second, okay? So no matter where the second side of our angle comes, we always start here and then we can spin either counterclockwise or clockwise. And what we're going to do is end up then, eventually, with another side of that angle. Now, that other side of the angle is called the terminal side. All right, let me write that down. Because you'll probably hear me refer to that a lot more than the initial side. The terminal side, terminal ending spot. Okay, so we're going to start off this first uh, lesson by just drawing different angles of rotation. So we want to draw an angle of rotation with a given measure and standard position. By the way, this is standard position when we have our initial side on the positive x-axis and our terminal side elsewhere in the universe. Okay, so if we're going to draw it in standard position, each one of these, the first thing we can do is just draw a ray starting at the origin extending along the positive x-axis. So there we go. Now, from there, we have to figure out where is the terminal sign going to end up? And how do we, you know, draw an angle so it's greater than 180 degrees? So let's start with the 210 degree angle. What we know is if we start here, we're going to always start our positive rotation as counterclockwise. So we're going to represent this by kind of drawing an arc with an arrow. So we're going to start here, and we're going to start climbing. That's to 90 degrees. We've got to keep going until we hit 210. That's 180 degrees. We've spun so far, if you think of that second hand moving, I guess it would be moving backwards here. So we have 30 more degrees to go. So once you go about 30 more degrees, that's where we end. Okay. And we can put a little arrow on that arc indicating that we have rotated in that positive direction. Now, once we get there, we can put our terminal side or the second side of our angle in. And that's all you're looking to do to show that you rotated, in this case, 210 degrees. Okay. What happens if you have to do 920? Pew. Same thing. We already have our initial side set up. So now we rotate. We're going to spiral this, right? We know we're going to be more than 360. Okay. And it can be more than 360, so you just keep the spiral going. So now we scoot again. If we do two 360s, if my scheme calculations from all those years at the ski hill uh, taught me, I've just spun 720 degrees. So I have 200 degrees more to go. So if I go 200 more, well, there's 180 more. I go just a little past that, okay. And that would be about 200 degrees. And again, once you hit that finalization point, you draw your terminal side in. And that little spiral will indicate you've just spun 920 degrees. What if it's negative? If it's negative, you just go clockwise. Okay, we go in the opposite direction. So 
we have our beginning side, our initial side there, and now we need to spin 300 degrees. So if I come over here, there's my 180, and there's my 270, so I have 30 more degrees to go. There you go. That's where I will stop. That would be spinning the 300 degrees. So then we'll tack in our terminal side. So again, the important things are, we put an arrow indicating which way we're spinning, right? in the negative direction or the positive direction. And then we just kind of, once we get to that spot, we put our second ray, also known as our terminal side on there. Have another great video coming up in just a moment.